In this video, we're going to prove the quadratic formula, which is x of 1 comma 2 is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, I learned this quadratic formula in ninth grade, which is middle school. In middle school, I learned this formula. Now, this formula is very, very useful. I'm using higher grades as well especially if the quadratic equation cannot be factored, we use this formula for completing the square or even graphical method. But graphical method is, I would say, uh, I would say isn't as accurate as uh, calculating the solutions. But if you have like a software, then it is accurate. But normally in school, you have to draw it yourself. So in order for a per parabolic curve to have a solution, it needs to cross the x-axis, right? When y is equal to zero, uh, it needs to cross two points. So this is an example when a is equal is greater than zero. So it opens up. So it will cross the x-axis axis at two points. This is the general form of a quadratic equation. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and prove the quadratic formula or the quadratic, uh, I would say, f uh, formula for the quadratic equation using differentiation. Okay. So I assume um, all of you have, are familiar with um, differentiation already. Um, so in order to prove the quadratic formula, the first step we need to do is, of course, to differentiate the general form of a quadratic equation. So, so let's differentiate this whole thing. dy over dx is equal to 2ax, right? Because a in this case is just a coefficient. It's just a constant, some random constant. c is some random constant b is some random constant. They are all constant, constants, a, b, and c. So differentiation of bx is just b, and the differentiation of c is just 0, right? Now, we have this. dy over dx equals 2ax plus b. By definition, dy over dx is the gradient. Now, in order to find x, right, in order to find x, our x peak, x peak is the line of symmetry, like at which x. So for instance, the line of symmetry, we're gonna find our x peak. I normally denote it as xp. So we need to find the x at which the gradient of this curve is zero, right? What I mean by that is that you can draw a line as horizontal. So this means the gradient at this point, xp, is 0. Because of that, we can substitute, because we know that. So dy over dx is equal to 0. And in that case, let us substitute it. So 2ax plus b is equal to 0, right? And now let us solve for x. Let us make x as the subject. 2ax equal to minus b. x is equal to minus b over 2a. Now, we have come to this stage. Now, I bet most of you are also familiar with this equation. This is the equation, uh, sorry, the formula for x speak. So we found it. And moving on, we still haven't uh, solved for the quadratic formula, right? In order to do that, we need to basically solve it from this equation. In order, uh, actually, it's completely separate from the proof that we have here. It's using completing the square. So I'm going to do it, I think, here. So I'll do the proof over here. Okay, use a different color. So 
y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, this, uh, I can't just, you know, in this form, because we have two degrees of x, we have x bar 2, x squared, and x. I can't just make x as the subject, because there would still be an x in, you know, in the, on the other side. If I try to, you know, put x on one side, then there would still be another x. So in order to avoid this kind of problem, um, we use completing the square method. So completing the square method is pretty um, straightforward. How are we going to do that is, okay, so I'm just going to take out uh, a from all of them. We can just take it out from just one, uh, just two terms, um, the ones with the x. So y, I'm going to take out a, my coefficient of x squared coefficient of the highest power basically we take it out from all all of the terms so factor it out actually and not take it out <laughs> factor it out so plus b over a x plus c over a right we have this afterwards y is equal to actually i'll just one second Okay, is equal to um, now at this stage what we're going to do is um, basically take a look at the coefficient of x right and then divide it by 2 divide it by 2 make it half like halve it halve it so it's going to be b over 2a right 8 times um, actually, let's see, b over a, b over 2a, right, b over um, 2a, I'm going to keep writing it, I'm going to write it as it is, b over a, x, and then b over 2a, I'm going to leave a space, and I'm going to write c over a. That space is for because we're completing the square. So b over a half of it, half of it is b over two a, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to square it. I'm going to square b over two a. B squared over four a squared, right? It's going to be minus. Sorry, um, it's going to be plus b squared over four a squared because the um, you know the the square of that. And then minus b squared over 4a squared because we don't want to change the equation, we just want to manipulate it. So plus b squared over 4a squared minus b squared over 4a squared is equal to a times, okay, I'm going to use this bracket now. Once we reach um, this stage, we can rewrite this as x plus b over 2a whole squared. Right, this thing right here, I'm going to write maybe red. So this thing right here is this, basically. And then what's left is this, minus b, oh, wait, sorry. I'll use purple. Is that purple? I think that's purple. Minus, oh, it's not purple, though. It's blue. Sorry. Minus b squared over 4a squared. I'm just going to write what's left, c over a, right? Okay, now we have, I'm going to multiply a into the equation again, insert uh, into the equation again. So x plus b over 2a whole squared minus b squared over 4a plus c. Okay, now after that, I'm going to solve for x, okay, when y equals to 0. We're going to solve for x when y equals to 0. 
Okay, when y equals to zero, it's going to be a times x plus b over 2a whole squared minus b squared over 4a plus c is equal to zero. I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to keep going. Um, let's bring these two terms to the other side, to the right hand side. b over 2a whole squared is equal to b squared over 4a minus c. Right? And then x plus b over 2a whole squared is equal to. Um, uh, multiply both sides by 1 over a. Write it in red. Multiply both sides by 1 over a. And then we get, okay, this cancel, right? These cancel. Um, and then b squared over, ooh, sorry, it's a different color again. b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. Okay. Now, um, I want to make the coefficient the same for these two terms. This is technically, this is equal to b squared over 4ac minus 4ac. Sorry, 4ac. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I'm going to rewrite everything. 4a squared not 4ac, sorry, minus 4ac, so multiply the top by 4a, multiply the bottom by 4a, 4a squared, right? So we're almost there, I'm just going to make this into 1, combine this, rewrite it, actually rewrite it, combine it, something like, ooh, sorry, 4a squared, that, and then, okay, and I'm going to square both sides, Square both sides, plus or minus square both sides, remember? Always remember the uh, plus or minus. So plus or minus root root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. This whole root sensible down here. Okay. So afterwards, um, you go here. Uh, this is x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus root root of b squared minus 4ac over root of 4a squared is 2a, right? Root of 4a squared is 2a. So x is equal to just one more step and Finally, we have solved the quadratic equation, root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, and just combine it. Finally, x, 1 comma 2, or x, the solution x, normally there are two solutions, is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac over, over, 2a, 2a, I'm going to box this, this is our solution right here, yeah, so, so in this video, let us recap, we have proven the formula for x peak, the line of symmetry x, which is x equal to minus b over 2a. So this video isn't just the proof of the quadratic formula. It's also proof for the x peak right here, which is minus b over 2a. And also the proof for, or the proof of the quadratic formula. So we've proven x peak, or the line of symmetry of a quadratic equation, and the quadratic formula.